So here you see A. So 1500, 500, 166, 2 over 3. So find the sum of infinity. So sum of infinity is equal to A over 1 minus R. So we need to have a and R to find sum of infinity. So A is equal to 1500. R is equal to term divided by previous term. 500 divided by 1500 is equal to 1 over 3. So sum of infinity is equal to A is 1500 divided by 1 minus 1 over 3. So we get 2250. So this one A is 2250. And then we see here for B, so he loaned 15,000. So, every year he managed to reduce 50% of his loss, of his loan. So, reduce 50% means the net x is 50 over 100, which is 1 over 2. So, R is equal to 1 over 2. Find the maximum amount paid by Wilson. So, maximum amount, so he cannot more than infinity, right? Maximum is sum infinity is equal to A over 1 minus R. A is 15,000 divided by 1 minus half, which is equal 15,000. This one is half. Divided by half means times 2 over 1, which is equal to 30,000. So, B is 30,000. And then for C, given that the sum of infinity is 4480, sum infinity is equal to 4480 and the common ratio is half. So R is equal to half. So find the first term which is A. So we have the equation already. We just substitute. So sum infinity is equal to A over 1 minus R. Sum infinity is 4480 is equal to A over 1 minus half. So, A is equal to, this one is equal to half, 4, 4, 8, 0 times half, which is equal to 2, 2, 4, 0. So, A is equal to 2, 2, 4, 0. So, C is 2, 2, 4, 0. And then for D, 4.818181 can be written in H over 11. So, find H. So, we see here, the number will keep repeating up to infinity. So, we can use sum of infinity. So, we see here, but then to do sum of infinity, we should see which one is repeating and which one is not. So, this one not repeat. 4 is not repeating. So, we uh, separate. So, 4 plus 0 0.8181, 81, 81. So, this one is the repeating part and this one is not the repeating part. So, the repeating part can be done by, by finding as infinity. So we see here this one is 0 0.8181 81, 81. So forever 81 is repeating or 0 0.81 plus 0 0.0081 plus 0 0.0000081 and so on up to infinity. So you can see this one is the first term, this one is the second term, this one is the third term and so on. So A is equal to 0 0.81. R is equal to 0 0.0081 divided by 0 0.81. So we get 0 0.01. Now we have A and R. So sum of infinity is equal to A which is 0 0.81 divided by 1 minus R is 0 0.01. So we get equal to 9 over 11. But we are not settled yet. This one is the 9 over 11. But the whole thing is 4 plus 9 over 11. So it's equal to 4 plus 9 over 11. So this one times 11 over 11. So we get 44 plus 9 over 11 or 53 over 11. So H is equal to 53. So D is 53.